everybody! I just finished reading Clockwork Princess and holy crap! All the emotions! The, oh, I don't even know what to say. I finished it this morning because my mom caught me reading at 2am in the morning. So I had to put the book down because she was mad at me. Um, so... <clears throat> because I had an important test today and I passed it. Sam! I finished this and <sighs> oh, I'm so emotionally drained right now. I don't even know what to do. I can't start City of Fallen Angels or City of Lost Souls now because I can't live without the last book if I read those two first. So I have to read them them in May or something because I I can't I can't it's too much so I have to take you know a break from this amazing world but I will be reading The Name of the Wind which I have read half of it before and uh, the character quoth it reminds me a little bit of Jace and Will so it's an easy transition <clears throat> but let's talk about the book let's talk about the book and uh, this book is about Again, Tessa Gray and Will Herondale and Jim Carstairs and Charlotte Branwell and Henry Branwell and all the people, all the Shadowhunter goodness and Magnus, Magnus! Ah! This, this is the last book so I can't really say what's on the back because if you haven't read the first two I can spoil the crowd of this but I won't because it will not, it would even be better if I spoil it for you because then you wouldn't be right, like an emotional wreck like I am. But anyway, <clears throat> I read, I read a note so I would know what I would talk about. So the first point is emotions. This book was like an emotional roller coaster. It was at some times I didn't even know what to do. In my last video, uh, in my announcement giveaway winner video, I said I was on chapter 14. Well, the same day as I- that was yesterday, I filmed and put that up. So I read like six chapters last night and then in the e night time I read until the last chapter in the epilogue. Oh, the epilogue. It just- it makes me happy and sad at the same time. And you guys who have read this book know exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> I think. I've heard that it's uh, there's a lot of people who don't like the epilogue. I personally loved it, uh, but it like builds up a lot of suspense for City of Heavenly Fire. And God, it's gonna be such an amazing book. I have such high expectations, but I really don't know what to do with my life now. It feels like I've lost a friend. This series, this series is one of my absolute favorite series. It's let's talk about Will. Will in this book is an amazing character. I love him. He's the per. <clears throat> He's perfect. I I I know it's bad to say that someone's perfect, but he is. He's so funny and witty and brave. And I cried in this book as well. Um, you know, I cried to Clockwork Prince as well. And this book I cried, but not where you would think I would cry. I cried uh, when it was a Gem and Will thing. Oh, I cried like a baby. It was so sad. I was like, How can I get no! I don't even know what to say. It's... As you can see, I don't have any words to say. But I, I don't want to spoil it. Because I want everybody to, you know, experience it on their own. We have Tessa in this book. I love Tessa. She's amazing. But one thing I found a little annoying, it was um, in the beginning when she was like, Oh, you th don't think I can fight because I'm a girl. And, he and Jem, or Will, I think, was like, No, I don't think you fight because you're wearing a dress. You know, because he hadn't had time to change into gear yet. So, and th I thought that was a little, Tessa, come on, think a little thing. You have a dress, a pretty dress. And you're not fit for fight. So I don't think she should just make the assumption that she can't fight because she has a girl. Because she has made those assumptions before and I didn't like them. Uh, but then she was like, I can't fight, I'm a girl! Now she's like, oh, you don't think I can fight because I'm a girl! Tessa, Tessa, Tessa. But anyway, I love her still. And to find out that she's so... She, her, her power gift thing is so... I just love the whole book. It was 
you know, in the beginning it was so funny and I didn't know what to do because I was like, this is gonna be the most emotional book I've ever read. Um, then we have Cecily. What did you think of Cecily? Who have read this book? What did you think? I thought she was badass and annoying at the same time. So, yes, uh, what I think Cecily, why I think her, she is annoying, she is reckless and not in the way that you know you, she can be reckless because if she had had as much training as the other shadow hunters i would not you know question it because then i would just think she's a badass but she has had no training whatsoever and she's just jumping about on missions and i don't think that is wise behavior um so when she's like oh will can i come with you ah, i will follow you oh um i can do any everything you have trained for like a week cecily but yes i i do like her kind of yes and then we have gabriel god i have so mixed emotions about gabriel i i like i like him the same as I thought he was, you know, kind of, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know where I had him, but in the end, I made my peace with it and I like him. So that is nice. And Gideon, oh, I love Gideon. Gideon and Sophie, mm, I love them so much and they're so cute and I thought it was so sweet when he was like, yes, she has to uh, become a Shadowhunter because otherwise, blah, blah, blah. I will not spoil you people who have read this book know what I'm talking about. And Charlotte. Charlotte is like the... She is so freaking badass. I love her. She's wise. She's strong. She knows how to fight. She knows how to manipulate people to get what she wants. And she's so headstrong. And I love her. And usually I found find that, you know, when you defy everyone, uh, you become like, you know, a little douchebag. But she is so freaking awesome. I love her. And on top of this shit, she has, you know, to care of Will and Jem and Tessa and everything, so credits to you, Charlotte, I love you. And uh, Henry, he's so cute. And he and Magnus, you know, working together, that was, uh, that was one of my favorite parts of the book. <laughs> and I think my favorite part was... I don't know, there were so many great parts in this book. I had to finish this book and talk about it. I know I don't talk about that much, I just make a few vowel sounds and then I have to go away. I, I don't know what else to say because... <sighs> book! Awesomeness of the book is, is hitting me in the face. It, ah! And then we have the situation with the gem, of course. Uh, I don't know really where I can, you know, <sighs> that was not a pleasant time. I spent every minute of this book worried about him. And then at about here, I, I kind of, you know, burst into tears and didn't want to read anymore, but that's okay, I guess. That is my summary of the characters now gets to the plot. Did I think it was concluded well? Yes, I did. Maybe I'm too hasty because I did not expect that ending. Uh, but uh, I did like it. I accepted it because it was believable. I will move on from there, but I don't think I will be able to. And the epilogue. I've heard a lot of people don't like it. And that I find that very strange because how can you not like it? It's... It's beautiful, <laughs> and you get to know about their lives after, and... <sighs> God, it hurts my heart! Would I recommend you picking this book up? Uh, yeah, and if you haven't, what are you doing? Go out, or to the internet, and uh, click uh, the, on the Clockwork Angel thing, order it, or buy it, or... Uh, Borrow it from the library or borrow it from a friend. Just make sure you turn back to your friend or the library. And then read the series and die inside because that is what you will do. Because it's so good. It's up there with my favorite series. I can't even. Oh. If Harry Potter didn't have a special place in my heart and if Lord of the Rings was like not my Bible, this would probably have to, you know, at the number one or number two. But as we have Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, this Infernal Devices trilogy, bam! I think I th I really think this this is third place. 
I do, I do. I, I will not say anything hasty, but yes, in this video, at this moment of emotion, this is number three on my best series list. Oh my god, it's so god, it's so good. I don't even know what to say, so because I don't have anything to say, I will stop talking now. So if you have read this book, what did you think of it? Tell me, I would like to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you in my next video. I I hope you didn't think I was too rambly, but um, that's what you have to expect if you read Clockwork Angel or Clockwork Prince or Clockwork Princess. <sighs> I will see you in another video and hopefully I won't be so all over the place. <laughs> Enjoy this series uh, as much as I did. You know that feeling when you can't sit the book down? When I tried to take this away from me? I felt nauseous. What are you doing, Cassandra Clare? Are you trying to poison me with good stories? Yes, great stories, that's what this is. <sighs> yes, I, I say goodbye already, but bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.